Okay. All right. Welcome back. So, um, to explain the origin of coffin, actually, for those of you that haven't seen this, um, Jewish. Yeah, um, there is there was a history in the. I'll just put the archive link, and I'll, I'll show you what it's about. So, once upon a time, um, there was there were. I should I should just let you read the abstract. Um, basically, like they, the, the the school had a bunch of problems that had a simple solution that was really hard to find, and they used this to keep out people they didn't want. Um, by using them as exam problems. So, um, yeah, so they've been informally called coffins. Coffins is not specific to this particular thing, but, um, wait, am I? Oh, is this not in the collection at all? I was, I was, I was assuming when people said coffin, they were referring to this file. Is that incorrect? It's in here, okay. Uh, Anyways, um, yeah, moving on. Let's actually do the problem. So, um, because we live in the modern age where we know a bunch of random crap for no reason, um, let the lost sidelines be A, B, C, X, Y, Z. <laughs> uh, so, we're given that area A, B, C equals op name A, Y, Z. Yeah, so th this is just true. All right, cool. Um, God, I, I don't know if I want to go this route. <laughs> uh, yeah, expand using Heron will work in theory and uh, probably is not very fun to actually do. Um, I feel like I want to do something more along the lines of like... Actually, here, if I if I fix triangle, th this might work. I so let's say I like fix triangle ABC. All right, the one with silence ABC. Then question: What's the locus of points P in space for which um, PBC is ABC? And the answer is that it should be a cylinder of radius, like whatever it is. Oh, it's a cylinder centered along line BC with radius the height from A. So, fine. Now, what's going on is that there are three cylinders in space. So, unfortunately, I'm really bad at 3D Geo, but, um, question. <laughs> what does the intersection of three cylinders look like? All the four heights? Which heights? The... Oh! <laughs> That's tricky. Uh, I see. Um, for 83605, um, I think I switched to fish because it was better than bash. Like, ba bash is not that good, just period. It's the one that's the standard because everyone has it, but I think ev I, I think the general consensus is that fish and Z show are just, like, better. Like, the autocomplete's better, the defaults are better, blah, blah, blah. Um, I picked up fish before. I, I just picked up fish first, and then I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And then I never bothered to try Z-Shell. So that's how that happened. Um, my understanding is Z-Shell is more popular than fish. But, like, I just never bothered to switch after I got used to fish. 
Can a Calc 3 student do this easy? <laughs> Honestly, some of them might be. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, I want, I want, I really want three cylinders to meet at like. So the cylinders like don't do any dumb shit. Like the planes that they cut are, yeah, yeah. So. It, it should just. Uh, how did two cylinders? I, I don't fucking know this. Um, how how did two cylinders intersect? Well, I really want to just say, like, oh, like, I, I want there to only be two intersection points. And in fact, if there are um, not just two intersection points, I think the problem is false. I, I, I'm, I'm not totally sure. But if the intersection of these three cylinders is anything other than two points, I want to say that should kill the problem. Like, the problem won't even be true. Um, so, analytically, they should... Oh, well, uh... Oh, yeah. Do the four whites intersect at one point? I think so, but I don't remember how to prove it. <sighs> how does the analytically part work? Like, what, what coordinates do I pick? I, the four heights of the tetrahedron, I think, are probably concurrent, just because a posteriori... Um, Does orthocenter not exist a posteriori for uh, whatever? I, I know there's a name for a tetrahedron where the opposite sides are equal, but I don't remember what it is. There's a solution on the website? Yeah, but we better get this. Like, it's... <laughs> Yeah. Um, sorry, I wrote cylinder of three cylinders. I meant to say intersection. Yeah, like I feel like if you get three relations, is that good enough? Like I, I feel like I need to I need to know how many points. Th like I agree, the dimension seems like it should be like it should be a finite set for dimension reasons. Uh, but I care about how many yeah coordinates. <laughs> eh. Uh. Oh god, three D Barry. Uh, I do like the other thing that was suggested earlier was the um. Rather than talking about the well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's equivalent for the heights. The four heights of the tetrahedron all are equal length, is another thing you can say. Um... I don't know how much the... Oh, I, I like the projection idea, actually. That seems like a good way to, um, to... So, let, let P, let P be... Project down with height, some height H. Then we know, apparently, that, um... Shit, what is it? How do you do this? Um, what, what was this? Sh okay, I said cylinder, right? 
So h, the height from a squared should be equal to like the distance from p to bc plus some fixed h squared, which we don't care about. Um, yeah, so as if we can get there's at most one projection on the um, thing, we should be okay. I think this should just be true. Because these two equations are equivalent to saying that, um, or sorry, these three equations are equivalent to saying that um, hA squared minus hB squared and hB squared minus hC squared. So left hand sides are fixed constants. Um, Okay, so this implies... Okay, then then my question is, what, what does this locus look like? This is 2D Geo, so I should be able to do it. Maybe. Famous last words. Uh, uh fuck, squares. Uh, uh, yes, I agree. They should be squared. Um, hmm. So these are conic sections, right? Is the point. Like in the XY system. Yeah, this is a conic section. I I, I suspect they, they should be hyperbolas. But yeah, just con conic is good enough for us. Um, because that means we're intersecting two conics. Which, wait, what the fuck? There's four points? Oh no. Oh, hey, I'll level it. Shit, two conics meet at four points. Um, that's bad news. Um, I think I need to use the fact that they have D, like PCA in common or something, right? They don't have to. Yeah, I think what's going to save us here is that um, the hyperbolas share a common asymptote or whatever it's called. Like, or... <laughs> I don't know how conic sections work, Jesus fuck. No, no, I, I think it's literally just like, um, alright, here. Um, no, fuck, that's not good. Um, anti-medial? Oh, actually, sorry, you're right. We're, there's four, I'm expecting one. So you might be right that the other three are just those fuckers. Um, wait, this is so strange. Yeah, okay, yeah, anti-medial is fine. All right, you're right. For, for some reason, I thought it was two plus two, but you're right, it's one plus three. Um, these are two conic sections, so they should meet at most four points. Only three of them lie inside ABC, the others are the anti-medial. Which actually then bothers me, because can I... If I have like a parallelogram, like if I have four... Actually, I can have four a parallelogram, four coplanar points ABCD that forms vertices of parallelogram. And it actually satisfies the original coffin. Like if you have to, if you allow degenerate tetrahedrons, um, the statement actually is false. Um, ortho center of Delonge or Delonge. I, I don't fucking know which one it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, Oriented area of P what is a signal? D is one choice of signs or something? We are done. We are done if the projection is any point. Like I don't care which point P it is. I just care there's only one, because um, the the choice of P uniquely determines the choice of H, and there's only for for the 
three points P that aren't the vertices of the antimedial, um, you get a positive value of H, so you get a non-degenerate tetrahedron. And there's, there's there's two of them, and we know which two they are, so it's fine. Right? Is that, is that a true statement, actually? I think it should be fine. Show that the conics are not identical? Ugh, fine. So I need the okay. What do I? I need the conics non degenerate, and I need the conics to not be identical. Um, the conics are not identical because uh, oh come on, do you really want? Do I really have to do this? I probably have to do it. Um, fine. Well, well, I need a point that lies on one of these and not the other. Can someone just find one for me? because I really don't want to deal with this. Uh... See, this is where I wish I had hair on bashed because then I wouldn't have to deal with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem with Heron, actually, now that I'm looking at it, is that there there actually are degenerate tetrahedrons that are counterexamples to the given problem. So, the Heron will be really, really obnoxious because there will be you need to weed out the um, solutions you don't want. Okay, this thing passes through A. This thing passes through B. This thing, actually, this passes through A and B, this passes through B and C. Uh, this thing does not pass through A unless the triangle is isosceles. If it's equilateral, um, well, if it's equilateral, there's nothing to do. Um, then it's just like, you need a, wait. What the hell? Um, if it's equilateral, that should be... Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do the equilateral case. And if it's not equilateral, then like you plug in ABC or whatever. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. So as long as... Um, if, if without loss of generality, B and C are different, then A does not lie on this thing, but A lies on this one. So you're okay. Yeah. Okay, so I bet this is not the solution that they intended because it's not that elegant. Um, the long champs. I would believe the long champs. Wait, if you have a proof, then you should be like then. Oh, okay. No, you said I. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay, cool. Um, what what was the intended solution? I, I'm curious to know because I'm assuming this is not what we were supposed to do, even though I think it works. Uh, oh, actually, this is uh, th this requires vectors. Um, okay, actually, th this is also a little involved. All right, I was expecting it to be some crap like the heights are equal, and then you do some black magic. Or something like that. Uh, but th this is actually looks like reasonable-ish. We put gas in the tetrahedron. Uh, 
Okay. Um. I actually, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to put in this write-up. I, I, I don't really want to type up the thing I wrote, but it's... Okay, well, well, fix ABC1 phase, the tetrahedron. Uh, consider, let P be the projection. The tetrahedron, oh. Is not regular. Fix ABC one phase of the tetrahedron, which is not equilateral. Say with AB not equal to yeah. So if you have a tetrahedron where every face is equilateral, it's regular and we're okay. Um, otherwise, so let P be a pressure of the last vertex V. Onto the plane containing ABC. By H be the resulting height. Also, let H A H B H C. The hyperbolas are rectangular. Um, are they? Wait, are they rectangular hyperbolas? No, I don't believe that. Uh oh no wait. Uh, wait, what? Rectangular means the they meet at a right angle, right? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, okay, fine. Yes, the rectangular. Yes, my bad. Then we have, which implies we concentrate. Do the verts past meet at its ortho center? Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right, yeah, I agree. The long shafts it is. Claim. There are at most four points which meet. Which satisfy the last two equations. Um, moreover, three of them are the anti Okay, proof. Uh the two equations are rectangular hyperbolas. They has point A lies on the first, but not the second. It follows that they do not go inside. Hence they meet at a, in at most four points. Remark, in fact, because these hyperbolas meet are rectangular and pass through the vertices of the anti-medial triangle, um, they must pass through its orthocenter too. Hence, the fourth point is the, the Longchamps point. Although we will not need the specific identity of the point. If P was a vertex of the antimedial triangle, we would recover H equals zero, which is not allowed since then the tetrahedron is degenerate.
No, it is actually. It is true, but okay. Um, I'm gonna add nonchalant into the poem statement. Actually, that that is it does actually seem like that. Identify. Oh, specific identity of the player. So any. Where do we prove the existence of the tetrahedron? Um, we did. Does it matter? Yeah, I, I I don't think I did, and I don't think I need to. Is, am I worried that like that point will be like some random? No, but it's it's a tetrahedron. It, it should just, it should be in plus zero. Like, like, like there is a point. Exactly. I'm gonna say exactly, actually. I want to name the point L. Hence, P equals L. In other words, our um, given tetrahedron there, there are at most two given possible given A B C. There are at most two possible locations of the last vertex D, namely the points on. The line through L perpendicular I guess I'm implicitly using the fact that like given ABC there is actually a valid you know, you know thing however there are two also two um, what, what's the name of a tetrahedron for which the opposite sides are equal? <laughs> Share it. What, what is an ellipsoid? Uh. Okay, I saw silly tetrahedrons using ABC. So they must go inside. Satisfy the following conditions. Oh god, perimeter. Well, actually, perimeter is a lot easier, right? Because then you just solve y plus z equals b plus c. Yeah, perimeter is easy. Because then this equation is linear, so you can just solve it. Uh. All right, cool. Um, Q problem.